We're back. Hey folks, Rod Grafrito here with Bartell Road Bait and Tackle and the new Oneida Lake Show. And as always, behind the camera, he's being shy today. He kind of looks like crap, is our, our man Pete from Angler's Bay. So he's just doing the camera thing today. He doesn't want to he doesn't want to be sociable. So, you know, I told him that's fine because I'll just have an opportunity to bust his balls. So you guys can too, please. I mean, feel free to, to kick in on these videos and you know let us know how you're feeling about it. Anyway, we took a little bit of a hiatus and we're sorry about that. However, both of our businesses got a little bit crazy. Uh, you know, the summer was really good for Pete down there with boats and boat rentals and all of his he had too much going on. And in my case, uh, Bartell Road Bait and Tackle moved. We're no longer in the Brewerton Center Plaza, we're now in the Brewerton Plaza, directly across the street. Yeah, I'm not kidding. When I look out my front door now, I see my old shop, a place where we spent almost six years. So just to let you know, we've moved in, we're open, we're good to go. And that brings me to Mother Nature and her fickleness. So we all know that we had an interesting fall, super cold November. Uh, we actually were thinking, oh my God, we're going to have this great ice season starting right before Christmas. Then it never happened. 40 and 50 degree days in December. Who'd have thunk? I didn't. So needless to say, there wasn't any ice fishing in December. And then we rolled into January, and there wasn't any ice fishing for the first 12 days of January. Then it came. Uh, Mother Nature's gotten herself a little bit more normal, uh, and uh, it's game on, folks. Big Bay started fishing hard on Saturday. Um, we went from open water on Wednesday to about 150 people out there Saturday. Same thing Sunday, same thing today. The, the storage unit parking lot on Keller Road was actually full a couple of different times this weekend. That's a great thing to see. The door here has been swinging. We've been busier than heck. We're fully stocked up with bait. I have to go ahead and get a little bit more merchandise in here because we sold a ton of it this weekend. But here is your overall condition of Oneida Lake right now. The entire lake is locked up. That doesn't mean the entire lake is safe. Uh, I have pretty solid reports from the east end that there's a lot of shelf ice, a lot of chunk ice. It needs more time. Um, same thing down towards Lewis Point, even though I'm sure there are some people out there, that doesn't mean it's a smart thing to do. As we always talk about, spud, spud, spud. Take your safety equipment. Test out in front of you. Make sure you know where you're going. If you, if you show up somewhere to fish and there's nobody out there, it's a pretty good chance you shouldn't be out there yourself. However, that being said, we're building ice every day right now. We just had our fourth straight day of single single degree temperatures. It's gonna remain this way. Looks like we got a couple 30 degree days tomorrow and Wednesday, but after that, we go right back into the freezer. And the long range forecast looks like we're gonna have one brutal February and probably ice right into the end of March. So we had to wait a little bit. It wasn't easy, it sucked. I really busted butt to get this move done by December one, hoping that we'd have a, a normal ice season. Well, it was delayed and now it's here. So again, guys and gals, just please be safe. Don't get out ahead of yourself. Don't go places you shouldn't go. The ice is singing, the ice is building. I know there are people fishing off the North Shore today. In a couple days, it's gonna be even better. So if you have any thoughts that you're nervous or you're not confident, just give it a day or two. We're gonna, by this weekend, we're gonna be fishing pretty much everywhere. Next question you're gonna ask me, what about machines? And I'm gonna tell you, wait. Just give it some time. You know, is it possible they'll be out there this weekend? Yeah, it's possible. I'm not going to say it is. I, I think we should go one more week, you know, without machines before you start pushing your luck on that. Um, the stuff I'm hearing from people on the ice are anywhere from four inches at the least. Some places, little areas like two or three. But I'm also hearing places of six and eight inches. As far as other lakes, I know they're fishing on Shamo Bay now. Shamo Hardware gave the, the okay saying that there is ice that's fishable ice. Green Point Marina at Sandy Pond opened up. Sandy Pond is locked up and they're fishing up there. Um, bottom line guys are pretty much, it's game on finally. Uh, Mother Nature gave us a break and we can go fishing. So please do that. So anyway, we're back. We're gonna start doing this on a regular basis. So keep an eye open on YouTube for us. We'll, it'll be weekly again. Uh, you know, maybe I'll even coax that big lug behind the camera to get in front of here for, with me for one day. Uh, I don't know, I see, you know, I see Polly over here sort of chuckling you see that this is kind of what I get to do I mean when, when Pete doesn't come in front of the camera I get to pick on him because he can't talk back there or he can he just doesn't so we'll leave it at that so thanks guys we're happy to be back look forward to reports every week going forward uh, remember it's the new Oneida Lake show brought to you by Anglers Bay and Bartell Road Bait and Tackle thanks guys we'll see you soon